here again, when I talk to a lot of companies, they, they basically say, well, uh, this is going to cost a fortune. Where do, we, where do we start? And taking a pragmatic view is to say, well, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can leverage your existing managed quality system. So if you have a managed quality system in place, then we can use that and we can identify where the gaps are in the quality system and identify the procedures that need to be put in place to address that. So putting in the right procedures in place is very important. Looking at the existing quality system, identifying where the gaps are, creating procedures to fill those gaps. So typically when we go and, and talk to a client, the first thing we recommend is a gap assessment. So you can go in, you look at what's there, you see where the gaps are, report with recommendations, and then we can create a roadmap and how does the client want to address those gaps, in what time frame, and what priority order. So that gives you a two for one because now you've got visibility. You've also got the means to go back to management for budgeting. And, and again, it can be tied into the availability of the personnel. It's also very handy if an auditor turns up because you can say, well, this is what we're doing and this is where we are. So you can point to that. So that's the whole purpose. We, we, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to leverage what's in place. And of course, with any system, we plan, execute, modify, audit and improve, of course.